Welcome back you guys. It is finally part three of the Honda Ridgeline rebuild. I've been putting this truck off for a while, but uh, now I can finally get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the roof. Um, actually, I ordered a whole new roof. I'll just replace the whole thing. I figured that's gonna be the best way to do it. And also this pillar, I'm gonna replace it probably from here to here somewhere. But um, before I start drilling anything out, I think I have to get the seats out that way it doesn't get any uh, sparks on it or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. And today Lucy's going to be supervising me, that way I don't be slacking off today. Lucy, what do you think we should start off, huh? Should we start on the interior first and then move on to the roof or should we jump right on the roof? I think she's trying to say I should take the seats out. I agree with you, Lucy. Let's go ahead and get started, Lucy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go get started. Go ahead. Start unbolting the seats. Nah, you want to just supervise today, huh? All right. That works with me. All right, so the interior is finally cleaned out from all the wires, everything. So I am uh, pretty much good to start on drilling the roof out. And uh, let me show you guys real quick where I'm gonna be drilling. Basically the back of the roof is right here. And then the side is in this uh, in this tunnel right here. And then the front where, where the windshield goes. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use the wire wheel or the wire brush, whatever you want to call it, to clean all this out so I can expose the spot welds and then uh, start drilling them out. But it should be pretty easy from what it looks like. Um, then there's like a couple bolts that are holding it down as well right here. And in the front, there's a couple over there. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and hopefully this thing doesn't give me a hard time. Alrighty guys, looks like I'll be making this Honda Ridgeline a convertible. I think it's going to be the first Honda Ridgeline convertible ever. It looks pretty cool actually. Nah, I'm just messing guys. So uh, I basically took off the roof and uh, it was actually fairly easy to take it off because all the braces stay with the roof. So the next step will be me removing this pillar. And uh, first I got to replace the pillar, of course, and then the roof. But here's the old roof. It's a great idea that I'm replacing it because um, I started realizing more that there's more buckles. This one was already on there. Some of them, obviously, I added them because I was on top of the roof drilling out the spot welds. 
but there was another big crease somewhere over here before I took the roof off so that's a big plus that I'm replacing the whole thing and uh, let me show you guys the other side real quick basically right here all these braces stay with it which is awesome because I won't have to um, apply any of this I don't know what it is I think it's like a seam sealer or something it's holding it together uh, well not this one but let's go ahead and get started on the on removing the pillar actually guys before I start on removing the pillar I have to remove the fender and I have to remove this door because it is damaged up here the new door is uh, sitting against the wall so let's go ahead and remove the door and then we're gonna remove the pillar and once we install the new pillar once we're test fitting it we're gonna test fit the new door as well Alright guys, so the skin off the pillar is off right here. That's what it looks like. And I don't think I showed you guys the new roof yet. Let me walk outside and show it to you guys real quick. I think I got a pretty fair deal on this roof. Um, the roof was $400. It does come with the sunroof. It comes with the headliner. It comes with the uh, um, roof airbags so i did i did give my headliner to get repaired but looks like this one might be good so i might as well just probably reuse this one so that might save me a few dollars here um and i have some roof airbags i can probably sell those on ebay but uh let's go ahead and get it up on some some stands Alrighty guys, everything is completely out. Now I gotta flip the roof around and uh, start drilling it out.
Alrighty guys, so the roof is off and also the pillar piece is off and now I think it's time to go ahead and test fit it on the truck. Alright guys, so this piece fits like a glove. I'm probably going to have to just uh, cut it and uh, of course weld the plate underneath. Um, but for now I'll probably stick some self tappers in there that way I can measure the door gap make sure the door aligns perfectly up there and uh, once that aligns perfectly we can proceed with um, test fitting the roof and once I test fit the roof if that's good then we can go ahead and start welding Alrighty guys, so the door is finally on. The gap looks really good. The door opens and closes great. Just like OEM. I mean, this thing is not bouncing or anything. Um, I do want to show you guys something right here. So basically this gap all the way through looks pretty good except over here and over here. The reason why it looks a little bit tighter than over here is because this is overlapping right now. I do have to cut it like this, um, have a nice precise cut, and it'll be um, against each other, and a plate will be welded under. But I will do that in a little bit. But as of right now, I'm probably going to go ahead and test fit the roof, make sure the roof fits perfect, and then I'm going to start welding the A-pillar. guys check this out this roof lines up really good over here it doesn't line up perfect because um, this thing is sitting a little I think too far back if I'm not mistaken and that's why it's doing that but once I cut it it's gonna sit in perfect so I'm not worried about that but other than that this roof just looks perfect on there there's no damage on it so now I'm good to take it off and uh, I will try to go ahead and start welding this pillar today. I might not have the time for it, but I will try my best. All right guys, so it is getting late on me today, so I'm not gonna weld this piece today. I'm gonna come in tomorrow in the morning, and I'm gonna start welding the, the pillar, and hopefully I can weld the roof tomorrow as well. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so it is the next day here. Without wasting any time, let's go ahead and get started on welding this piece. Alrighty guys, so finally this is all prepped up. Um, I went ahead and put a piece under the the metal right here that way it reinforces it better with this piece so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and install that piece and also I did the same thing up here uh, I'm gonna install that piece and if it fits good I can go ahead and start welding Alrighty guys, so it is all welded and grinded. This thing looks really flush. Make it easy on my body guy. He's gonna be very happy about that. Uh, and same with this side, it looks really good. Um, everything else, I mean, it's welded, grinded, it looks perfect. So now I'm probably gonna proceed to the roof and uh, 
I have to install it just to double check, make sure everything aligns perfect. And then I'm gonna clean it out and I'm gonna start welding the roof as well. Also guys, I wanna show you guys this edge that I was talking to you guys about earlier that it was sticking up a little higher than this. And it was because it was overlapping and it didn't give enough room for it to sit down. But uh, now it's all flush, it looks really good. So like I said, now let's go ahead and uh, install the roof. Guys, check this out. This thing fits absolutely perfect. Everything just lines up like it's supposed to. So um, I think I am good to start welding. I actually cleaned off the metal before I test fitted it. That way I don't have to take it off again because I am by myself and it's kind of tough to uh, take this roof off and install it back on there. But uh, this thing lines up really good. I'm actually very happy with how this is turning out. So now I pretty much have to weld it and then uh, obviously I'm going to throw some seam sealer on it and after that I mean that's pretty much it. Alright guys so the roof is finally welded everything looks really good I finally grinded it as well now all I have to do is apply some seam sealer to it and let it dry and then I'm going to call my paint guy and uh, let him come out here give me a price and, uh, and then we'll have this thing painted in no time and have it finished in no time as well. I also have to mention that um, I am doing a lot of this stuff off camera because um, I am trying to accomplish a lot of things in, uh, in one day. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that way y'all don't ask me questions why am I not recording while welding or grinding or whatever. But uh, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to apply some seam sealer to it right now and then I'm going to end the video right there. Alrighty guys, the sealer is on. Everything looks amazing. Here's the back side. And then here is this side. It looks perfect. This thing really turned out good. I am, uh, I'm not gonna put the door or the fender on because they do have to be painted on the inside. And I will just uh, let my painter take care of that. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm uh, I'm actually pretty much done with this. Also, guys, I took I went ahead and took off the headlight and the bumper. This bumper does need to be fixed and repainted, so uh, that's gonna help him out a little bit. But uh, other than that, I think we're pretty much done for today. All right, guys, so I'm finally done for today. I think I'm done with this video. Um, we got a whole prog a whole lot of progress done in this video. This. This uh, roof took me about a day and a half, give or take, to take it off and to install the new one. So I think that's pretty good. I'm also very glad that I had the chance to finally get back to this ridge line um, because it's been sitting for about a month and I was, I never had the time to get to it, but uh, finally got it done. Now all I have to do is give it to the painter and after the paint job, all I have to do is, is assemble it. That should be very simple. So in the next video, I will be loading this thing up on the trailer and taking it to the paint shop. So be sure you guys stay tuned for that. Guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also like my videos and share them with your friends and follow me on Instagram at Rebuild with Nick. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.